Look at that stone. Oh yeah. Who knows? Maybe it's real. It's probably triple real. It's probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, Jason here, and we are now in La Jolla, and uh, you can see Danny over there, Monterey Magnet Man. He's getting started. Still quite a few people uh, out on the beach right now, and it is kind of a high tide right now. So we're gonna be doing the, the dry sand and working our way that way, and then as the people start to clear out, we're gonna make our way that way. Let's get out there and see what we can find. Hey, little buddy. Hey, buddy. my friends right there wow well it is it has been quite quiet here this sounds like it's gonna be a tent stake or some iron now let's get down there and check it out I'll show you when I get it out alrighty yeah that was a deep tent stake very deep and uh, there it is. It's a little rusty candy cane right there. Well, bad news is we broke our little bead bracelet. Uh, I should have known it was bound to break. That string was pretty old. I did find the little metal part here and I still need to swing the detector and find the other metal bead, but uh, I hope I can find the rest of the black beads and we can get it put back together. Anyways, that's an update on what is going on right now. Danny's pretty far down there. I hope he's found something. Okay, check that feather out. That's a big feather right there. Anyways, we got a target here. 57, I'm just excited to get a target. 59, there have been zero targets. 58, could be a penny. Oh, did we get it? Is that another target? Let's shake this out, I think it's in the scoop. Oh, okay. All right, there we go. We got a key, it's a master key there. Oh, that's better than, it's better than nothing. Uh, it's been very slim pickings today. Any luck, Danny? <laughs> All right, got a 60, 61. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh, dude, that is rad. <laughs> That's the find of the beach, of this beach. That is far. some epic treasure there, though. Straight negative 17. Negative 17. Yeah. So iron, huh? Straight iron, yeah. That's like one of those, um, like for the web browser, right? I think oh, That so, is so yeah. cool. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Little pin. That is super cool. Well, I think this, yep, okay. It's a penny, and it looks like there's something stuck on there. So we got a piece of iron and we got a zinc penny, it looks like. Big, big stuff right there. All right, you guys see down in there? Oh, that is deep. Oh, I can't even reach in there. Okay. Well, we got a dingle hopper. Or a thingamabobber. It's a spoon. That was a deep spoon. But uh, yeah, there it is. I don't think that that's gonna be silver, rang up kind of like iron, but uh, probably stainless steel. Looks a little bit rusty, but uh, there we go. Well, I'm about 90% sure that's gonna be a bottle cap, but I'm desperate for targets. Otherwise I won't have enough footage for a video, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a, yeah. There it is, banquet. It's a banquet bottle cap. Looks brand new too. There you go. Check out this view. It's really gorgeous here. Right down here. It's 
one's kind of jumping everywhere. Sounds kind of like a, hmm, sounds better now. At first it sounded like a tent stake. I think it's in the scoop. Bring it up kind of high. Okay. Looks like a coin there. We got a dime, all right. There we go. There's all the pretty birds. Hey, buddies. Oh, didn't mean to scare you. All right. See ya. Sounds like there's something here. Might be a couple of targets, like a coin spill. Sounds like it could be a penny. Yep, we got a penny right here. Okay, I think there's another target too. Let's check right over here. Sounds like it could be another penny ringing up about the same. So maybe another zinc penny. Here's these cute fluffy white dogs. They're so fluffy. All right, let's see. Yep, we got another penny here, another shield penny. There we go, okay. Eh, sounds like it could be a bottle cap. 27, some iron. I think it's in the scoop. Hmm, oh, what is that? Oh wow, look at that. So it's not a bottle cap, that is a earring stuck to the magnet. Got a bling bling. Look at that stone. Oh yeah. Who knows, maybe it's real. It's probably triple real. It's probably <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right, sweet. EBS for sure. I mean, it doesn't matter that it rang up like iron. It, no. Or that it's stuck to the magnet. It's probably real. Yeah, that's that's what they, they don't want you to find out that the right. actually brings up like <laughs> that's, 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 that's the pro secret. secret. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll put it in here. We got a bling bling earring. Nice big stone on it. There we go. All right. Check that out. Okay. Wasn't even going to film it. That's a little heart ring. Looks like maybe a like a toe ring or something. <laughs> Showing Danny. Yeah, it sounded kind of irony and I think that's because it is. Let's see, does it stick to the magnet? It's not exactly sticking to the magnet, but we'll check it out in the wrap up. Got a couple of targets. There's one here that sounds like a high tone. Bring it up like an 83. Could be another tent stake. Dug quite a few of those today. Oh. That sounds like it's gonna be a quarter. 88. Yeah, look at all the people. A lot of people here today, huh? Yeah. All right, there we go, it's a quarter. I'll take a quarter. Here it is. That's pretty cool. All right, well, got the light out. Uh, had an iron target, and I'm glad that I dug it. Because it's actually, uh, that looks like a Canadian coin, I think. Yeah, it's got Canada on there. It's got a beaver. But it was stuck right to the magnet. Rang up just like a big piece of iron. Anyways, there it is. This sounds like it could be iron. Okay, there we go. Sounds like we got it out. It sounds just like iron now. Oh, look at that. Huh. Oh, okay, I, I thought it was a ring, but I think it's just a one of those key ring kind of things. Anyways, yeah, 
Well, that's why it sounded like iron. It's stuck to the magnet. It's a little key ring. Got like a 33, 36 here. It's out. I think I see something. What is that? No way. <laughs> Daniel just found one of these things. What are the odds? Yeah, it's for like a, I don't know, maybe it's for some diving gear or something, because I know a lot of divers go through here. All right, well, there we go. It's like one of those little clip things. I got to show this to him though. Bill had a target right down here that was ringing up like iron and I got it out and it says uh, caution, magnetic. Okay. Yeah, it is. It is magnetic. Okay, so we found a, a magnetic thingy. There we go. I'm all looking at these people here. They're enjoying their their dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, right down here. Sounds like it's going to be a quarter. It's been a while since I had a decent signal. Must have been fairly shallow. Just check it out. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. I'll take a quarter right there. There's a little bit of a shell line here. I'm just kind of making my way down that shell line. All right. Well, Danny's got a, a guy following him around talking to him. I'm kind of keeping my eye on him. Uh, the guy is you guys kind of partied out. You're partied out, man. Again. Okay, there's our target. Some foil right there. But uh, yeah, we're just making our way kind of back towards the car. My battery on my detector is just about to go out. So not sure how many more targets we can get. Got a target down here, 2930. It is a target. Oh, wait. Oh no, yeah, okay. Got excited there for a second. It looked good. It looked good from over here too. Yeah. That top curvature. There it is. <laughs> nice and shiny. Well, there's our friendly friend, the whale. JJ the whale, look at that. That's cool. Anyways, we made our way over here to this uh, little tot lot and we got a bobby pin. Dang it, Bobby. Okay, right down in here. Got a 40, 41. It's out. Still 41. Oh, look at that. It's a zipper pull. <laughs> uh, Danny found one of these surface find out there in the parking lot. He said it's, what did he say? The ugly cousin of jewelry or something. <laughs> Anyways, there's a zipper pull. Uh, unfortunately, I think that's going to be a pull tab. Either that or another carabiner. It looks blue. Bring up a little high. Oh yeah. Nice. We've got another carabiner. This one's kind of like Danny's. I like that. We'll put that on the collection of carabiners going on here. Right there. There we go. Well, this is kind of common for this beach, but it still sucks to find it. Um, I'm gonna pick this up, throw it in the garbage, and I'll take I'll take three more karma points right there. Right there. Got a 63 right here. Uh, I think I see what it is. Sounds like there might be some other targets. All right, we got a tent stake. Sounds kind of irony. 36. 36. Oh, look at that. All right. That is not iron, I don't think. 
It might be sticking to the magnet, but that is a pendant. Let's see. Oh no, that's ringing up high. It's in the 60s, 70s. That might be silver. It's like a little Star of David. Oh, that makes it worthwhile picking up all this trash. <laughs> um, this might be my last target. I've got not much battery left. 925? Yeah. Right on. Right on the cross there. Woohoo! Silver Star David. Sweet. Nice. Yeah, uh, there was a tent stake and then this right next to it. I got it. Oh, I got a vape. Got like a. Got like an 8892 right here. 7980. Could be a dime or a copper penny. Ringing up an 80 now. Right in here. Could be some silver. <laughs> Check it out. Nice. Look at that. It's like a charm. That rang up. Oh no, look at that. There's two things in this scoop. No way. So there's a little charm, a little uh, cosmic charm or something nice. right there, and a quarter. Oh, sweet. <laughs> okay. That's crazy. That Let's is see. cool. Oh, that is the Death Star on there. Oh, nice. Oh, that's rad. Heck yeah. What does that say on there? Me don't mess with the princess, I think is what it says. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sweet. Nice. A twofer. Yeah. Jewelry. Yes. All right, everybody, Jason here, and this is our wrap up for episode 37, part one and two. Both of those were with Monterey Magnet Man, Danny, and we got quite a few targets. So let's just jump right in. Uh, we've got five quarters here, so $1.25 in quarters. Uh, we got three dimes. Uh, we, we're skipping the nickel because we actually got a nickel over here. We did hit the cycle. Uh, and then we got 5, 10, 13 pennies. Some of those are going to be spendable, and then others are just complete mutants, like that one. We also got some foreign coins. This one here is 5 cents from Canada, and this stuck right to the magnet. I thought that that was kind of cool. And then this right here is a coin for, from Portugal. At least I'm assuming it's from Portugal. It says Portuguese on there. Thought that that was really neat. We found that in uh, Mission Beach. Got a lot of pull tabs, a lot of bottle caps, and tons of tent stakes. I have enough tent stakes to open up a tent stake store. I think there was 20 total. Um, and then a lot of other pieces of iron there. So we'll just skip past those. I thought that I had found two of these. That's a zipper pull. Um, we did find two little carabiners, if those can be considered carabiners. I think that blue one can. Uh, this one right here, I actually wanted to give this to Danny, um, just because what it said. I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, and then I forgot to give it to him. But it says, Caution Magnetic, and I thought that that would be kind of cool since he's the magnet man. This right here, I'm not sure what that is. It looks like it might have been some kind of jewelry at some point, if I can get it to focus but I believe that that's gonna be just some garbage. So there's that. Uh, unfortunately, our Lucky Charm bracelet did break. Uh, I did find most of the parts from it. I, I think I'm missing just a couple of beads, uh, but I just wanted to show those parts right here. Um, it still brought us good luck, even though it broke, so I'm gonna keep carrying it around. This right here is a little magnetic iron toe ring, and it's got hearts on it. Thought that was kind of neat. Um, Danny had just gone over that area where I found that. Anyways, there's that. And then we also found this uh, little earring. It's definitely some bling bling. It's got a big old stone in it, but that stuck right to the magnet. This right here, I found this in Mission Beach with Daniel. And I'm not sure what that is. If you guys can, can tell, I'll try and zoom in. Let's see, okay, so it's got some ridges on the underneath side, and it has like some patterns on the outside. And it's got just the most subtle curve to it, almost like it used to be part of a ring. 
but to me that looks really old. And I looked at it with the uh, jeweler's loop and there's definitely some patterns on there. I just can't tell what it is. So I don't know. If you guys know what that is, put it down in the comment section. We'll set that there for now. Let's see, what else did we find? We got this key right here and this part of a brass thumb latch. What's funny is Danny had actually found an identical target just like that. Let's see what else. This right here is our Buffalo nickel. And this was a, this was a definite bucket list item for me. Um, I had never found a Buffalo nickel before. Right there, you can kind of see the outline of the head, the Native American head. And on the back, there is a Buffalo. And this is stamped 1936. So that is a 1936 Buffalo nickel. I thought that that was really awesome finding that. And then this right here, sorry, there's some noise outside. This right here is a little silver pendant that's got the Death Star on there. That was really cool. There's the Death Star. And on the back, it says, get it to focus. It says, don't mess with this princess. So that charm has definitely got some attitude to it. Right there. Uh, this ring right here we actually found in part one over there in Mission Bay, or I'm sorry, Mission Beach. And that was our second target of the day. And that is a silver ring. I thought that the design was really cool. It looks like some cracked rocks or something. But on the underneath side there, you can see it's stamped uh, C plus C 925. I don't know, the camera's making it out right there, but that is a silver ring, so I was excited about that. And then here's our grand finale. Uh, this right here was towards the end of the night. We had dug a tent stake, and then this was also ringing up kind of like iron. I think it rang up a 36 when it was under the sand. And I thought it was just gonna be a piece of iron, but that is actually a pendant. And that is a Star of David pendant, if I could get it to zoom. I thought that that was really pretty. And Daniel on the back right there saw that it is stamped 925. Don't know if the camera is picking that up, but it is stamped 925 there. So that was a really cool find. And I just thought that the, I don't know if that's a stone or some kind of like some epoxy inlay, but I thought that that was just really pretty. So there's that. Well, that about does it for the wrap up. I hope that you enjoyed. Um, if you haven't seen part one, I'll link it in the description down below. Be sure and go and watch that. I'll also put a link at the end of the video right up here. Uh, so be sure and go and watch part one. Uh, but if you did enjoy this video and if you enjoyed some of our finds, be sure and hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. And leave me some comments down below too. I'd love to hear from you guys. But until next time, happy hunting.